Electrophilic substitution is a mechanism that is observed at aromatic rings like benzene, phenol, and phenylamine. An electrophile is defined as an electron pair acceptor. This means it will have an atom with a full positive or partial positive charge that is able to attract and accept an incoming pair of electrons. Let's take a look at the electrophilic substitution mechanism for the reaction between benzene and a positively charged electrophile. As the electrophile approaches the benzene ring, it attracts the electrons in the delocalized pi system. A pair of these electrons are then drawn out to form a bond with the electrophile. This leaves us with a benzene ring where the delocalized pi system has lost electron density, which we can represent with a broken ring with a positive charge in it. We also have a new bond from one of the carbons to the electrophile, but we need to remember that this carbon was already bonded to a hydrogen. The benzene ring wants to reform its delocalized pi system, as this would be a lot more stable. It does this by losing the hydrogen that's attached to this carbon. The electrons from the bond go back into the ring and we're left with a regular benzene with the electrophile attached. The overall effect of this reaction is a substitution, as a hydrogen has swapped for an electrophile. Let's take a look at some examples of this mechanism in action. We'll start with the chlorination of benzene. If we try to react benzene and chlorine, not very much would happen. This is because benzene is not very reactive. Why not? Let's think back to the reaction between chlorine and ethene. As chlorine approaches ethene, the electrons in the double bond repel the electrons in the chlorine molecule creating an induced dipole. This leaves us with a delta plus chlorine, which acts as the electrophile that can attract the pi electrons in the double bond, initiating an electrophilic addition. With benzene, this doesn't happen, because the electrons in the delocalized pi system are more spread out, in comparison to the electrons in the double bond of an alkene. This means there isn't enough electron density to induce a significant enough dipole on the chlorine molecule in order to initiate a reaction. So, the relative inertness of benzene towards electrophiles means that we need to use a catalyst. The catalyst that we use is called a halogen carrier. A halogen carrier is usually an aluminium trihalide or an iron trihalide. The best way to think about a halogen carrier is that its entire job is to take a halide ion from whatever it's reacting with to leave behind a positively charged electrophile. This chlorine is now electrophilic enough that it can attract a pair of electrons from the delocalized pi system in benzene in order to initiate an electrophilic substitution. Now let's take a look at a Friedel Crafts alkylation. This is essentially the exact same reaction as the chlorination we just looked at. But instead of substituting a halogen onto our benzene ring, we're going to substitute an alkyl group. So the reagent isn't going to be a halogen, it will be a halogenoalkane. Just like before, in order to generate the electrophile, we need to react it with a halogen carrier. Again, the halogen carrier takes a halide ion for itself and leaves behind a positively charged electrophile. Now, this will be electrophilic enough to initiate an electrophilic substitution. We can do the same thing in a Friedel Crafts acylation. In this case, we're going to be substituting an acyl group onto the benzene, so the reagent we'll be using is an acyl chloride. Once again, in order to generate the electrophile, will react it with a halogen carrier, which takes a halide ion for itself and leaves this positively charged electrophile, which is now electrophilic enough to initiate an electrophilic substitution. The last example I want to show you is the nitration of benzene. This is slightly different because there's no halogen, so it doesn't involve a halogen carrier. However, the overall principle is exactly the same as what we've discussed with the previous three reactions. In this case, the reagent is nitric acid and the electrophile is generated by reacting it with sulfuric acid. 
Now, this will be electrophilic enough to initiate an electrophilic substitution. Hopefully, it's now easy to see how these reactions are pretty much all the same. One final point to add is that if we're using phenol or phenylamine instead of benzene, we don't need to use a catalyst at all. This is because both phenol and phenylamine are more reactive than benzene. This can be explained by the fact that they each possess a lone pair of electrons that can be donated to the delocalized pi system, increasing the electron density in the ring. This is called ring activation, and it allows the aromatic ring in phenol or phenylamine to induce a dipole on nearby molecules so that electrophilic substitution can occur. In fact, these rings are so reactive that you can get multiple electrophilic substitutions on them without any catalyst being present at all. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to support the channel and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.